Everybody, welcome! Falcon Dead State, finally the full release! Everything um we've been expecting, or at least I've been expecting for quite a while, and I assume that people and viewers from my beta series of Dead State are have been expecting as well. Um, before we start this off, I should probably say, kind of like a PSA type of thing, there is expected to be a first day patch for the game itself, even though it was released today on Thursday, which I am recording on Thursday. The patch is expected to come out on Friday, which is supposed to kind of fix a few bugs that kind of came out with the quote-unquote full release of the game. We're gonna be going with male, no reason, whatsoever. What does this guy have, like, some sort of, like, skin disease? Kind of weird. We're gonna be going with this dude that looked like Eisenberg, except that he's kind of like Black Eisenberg, if I could say that. I mean, is that him wrong? I mean, would that be a bad thing for me to say, like, Black Eisenberg? I don't think it is, right? I mean, just happens to be a black dude, and it's all right. Ah, there you go. <laughs> all righty, Eisenberg. Let's uh, go forward here. First name, um, well, I guess we'll just probably call him Walter White. That makes sense to me. Probably makes sense to a few of you too, Walter White. I'm really tempted to name him something other than White, but I won't, because I would be kind of really insensitive now, wouldn't it be? And we're going to be doing a custom build over here because I want to stick to melee. That's what I kind of rolled with last time and I felt pretty good doing it. So we'll go into melee right here. We'll go into some leadership skills because um, they're pretty good for kind of negotiating trades and probably talking people into joining our cause soon. Um, I guess negotiation has its own little perk here. We could do a little bit of medical as well because it's nice to have like a backup medic other than just Renee. And we're going to do, you know, let's go up to... Oh, Backstab and Brawler. Player gains a permanent plus 5 to their armor class and player gains a 1.5 increased critical chance when hitting an enemy in the back with a melee weapon. I like Backstab a lot because I usually sneak up on people, so let's go with Backstab indeed. Can I get you up to the next level? I cannot. I could get close to it though. Would that be worth it? Yeah, I guess. Um, how about we just go to Medical here. Paramedic, the player medical skill restores an extra 5 HP when using medical items. Let me go with Paramedic. And then, I guess we'll just toss these into melee, and we'll probably get a new skill pretty soon. So I think this kind of works out pretty good. Not too amazing in the leadership skill. Maybe we could pump this up here. Aim for the head. Improves party chance to hit undead by 25% for three rounds only. Undead. And keep... Oh, you know what? Let's go for the aim for head. You know why? Because every now and then you kind of run into issues where you can't fucking land a hit because of RNGs. So I think aim for the head will probably work out pretty good. So I think that works out pretty nicely. We have one extra point left over. I guess we'll just save that for now. Let's go into the next thing here. You still have one S. I don't want to use it. Oh, come on, game. I don't just don't want to use it. All right, let me go into survival. Fine. Are you happy now? Next. No, you mother. Oh, my stats over here. Gotcha. <laughs> um, that's what it was talking about. It wasn't talking about the skill, probably. So, yeah, let me go up with strength a bit here. Let's go up to eight over here. <laughs> I guess my precision is fucked. That's fine. Eisenberg is kind of blind as it is anyway. And number two, I'm not going to be doing any ranged attacks with him, at least not in the, any, I guess, in the immediate future. And that's it, we're good. 100 HP, AP 9. I would like a little bit more AP, but, hmm. That's fine, we'll do 9. Start it up. Let's finalize your character build. Are you sure you want to continue? Yeah, why not? And I think this should be the intro that I talked about here. Let us beware of saying that death is the opposite of life. The living being is only a species of the dead, and a very rare species. Oh, it's very deep there, Nietzsche. Alrighty, so you counted yourself lucky to have gotten on the plane. There have been rumors of some kind of pandemic rapidly spreading across the world, and people have been starting to get nervous. Flights were getting overbooked, delayed repeatedly, and outright canceled. But you were in the air, buckled safely in your seat, and during some light turbulence as you idly watch a, new a newscast on the current world crisis when you heard a commotion from the front. I've never been on a, you know, airplane with TVs, man. You must be flying some hardcore first class over here. Uh oh Someone had staggered on the plane. You heard them struggling with their luggage and that wet hacking cough for most of the flight. After the cough stopped, something started to happen up front. You heard a flight of attendant, uh, you heard a flight attendant scream and utter chaos broke out in the front. People jumped out of their seats to try to help, but it only seemed to cause the situation to get worse. Yeah, normally it does. There was screaming, yelling for help, and the distant sound of someone banging on the cockpit. Then the horrible feeling of your stomach dropping as the plane tilted downwards, and scattered thoughts that accompany a fear of dead. An awful cacophony of metal and earth twisting around each other filled your ears, and then there was only darkness and fire. Oof, that's grim. 
Alrighty, so this is where I talked about, this is like new, at least, uh, I'm not sure when this was added, I'm not sure if it was part of the full release, but when I started playing the beta version, this right here was not part of the original game itself, so... Give me a little bit of welcome to Death State, the world here is complex and dangerous, so let's take a thing simple at first, you know what? I don't want to take it simple because I feel like I have a, some sort of understanding of the game already. So we have a fire going on over here, we got Black Eisenberg, who apparently is bald on the portrait, but has a full set of hair over here, so hey. It is what it is, probably wearing a wig or something. A toupee would probably be more accommodating to a man. Hello, is anyone alive in there? This is Sheriff Reinhardt of Splendid PD. If you can hear me, follow my voice. Are you sure you're, you know, Sheriff Reinhardt? Are you God? Maybe I just died. I just gotta follow the light. Follow the voice. So we have a wreckage over here. Let me zoom out here so we can get a full view of this wreckage. That's a kind of a small plane in reality now, isn't it? Compared to us? It's be like one of those private airliners. Alrighty. Look for something to defend yourself with, and whatever you do, stay away from the other passengers. You look around for a weapon. Do I now? Is it here in this suitcase? Yeah. This is a loot screen. Yeah, I know about the loot screen game. Played the game before. Got a baseball bat. Why somebody had a baseball bat in their fucking suitcase is really beyond me. That must be one big suitcase, let me tell you. So let me go into the inventory screen here. We will equip this bat. So I figured we're probably going to need it real soon. Yeah, yeah, I know, game. I know. Alrighty, I know. And if you're worried about me skipping, uh, skipping this over here, I will, you know, give you a due diligence breakdown of it. But, you know, most of this is just RPG tropes at this point. You know, item screen, status screen, equip your items, you know, nothing too crazy. So, let me just walk around the fires over here. Maybe I could be super heavy metal and just jump into the fire. Uh, Sheriff Reinhardt, can you still hear me? If you have to defend yourself, hit them before they grab you. Whatever you do, don't let them bite you. You know what, Sheriff Reinhardt, I've played this game before, and I've been bitten before, and you know what? It hasn't really affected me. So let me go over here, go into battle mode. This is the combat mode, yeah? Game, I got it. If you want to do this, um, you could easily sneak up on targets and just wait till, you know, the battle mode to take effect, or what I like to do is actually just rush up there, hit spacebar, and boom, you're in battle mode already, and you could have, like, a free, sweet hit over here. So this dude, burn man, almost dead. Boom! Baseball bat to the head. Ken Griffey hasn't even done any better than this, so let me just end my turn here. This guy is dead. I could loot him if I wanted to. What did you have on you? Nothing at all. Nah. So be it. So we're done over here. We've got the fire out down here, but there's fire out of control back there. Alright, well. It's going to explode. Run, you're almost there. Is it really going to explode, though, or are you just kind of joshing my Shane here, uh, Sheriff Reinhardt? Kind of a trickster, aren't you? So we have some dead bodies over here. We have a... Uh, Sheriff and everything like that. You made it, you're safe now, we're going to get you help. Hey, you okay? Hey, stay with me. Vic, help me carry. And then the voices fade and you pass out from the wounds. That's actually interesting. It's, um, Vic is actually going to be, you know, no spoilers, the possible future, um, survivor in our camp. So, um, I guess he had some sort of past recollection of you, too. I wonder how it's going to work out in terms of the full release, in terms of the character interactions. Alrighty, you wake up to the sound of people arguing your body is stiff and you can smell the unmistakable scent of rubbing alcohol. You feel like you've been slipping, sleeping off a horrible fever. The last thing you remember is the plane going down. Anita. Oh, Anita, you're back. I love Anita. I'm going to probably use her this time around more than I did last time. Food? Who cares about food when you got a huge hole in that fence? If we don't fix it, they're going to walk right in here. I know, Mom, but who's going to risk going out there? You? Me? Joel? Maybe the new guy that's over here passed out. <laughs> I suppose I should be the one to go, being the cop and all. Kind of be nice if someone was watching my back. Not my Renee, that's for damn sure. Let's not panic yet, alright? Alrighty, so, um, let me wake up here. Um, who are you people? I think that would be my first inclination if I just woke up in the middle of some people just arguing. He's up! He's up, he's up, he can sing! Sorry, just throwing a little bit of Planet of the Apes there for you. Easy, I realize you have no idea who you are right now, but you're safe. You're in the basement of a school. I'm Davis. How you doing, Davis? This is Anita. You should thank your lucky stars that my daughter was here. Mom? That's Renee, Anita's daughter. I love Renee. Renee is kind of like my go-to girl in this game. Probably call her even waifu material if I could. Uh, hi. Good to see you're up, finally. Behind her is Elaine. She's still recovering. Fuck Elaine. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about Elaine. And that's Joe. That's me, I'm Joe. Officer Joe. I guess technically it'd be Officer Oswald, but you can call me Joe. Heck, any of those will do. Alright, Joe, come on. Show a spine over here, my friend, alright? Is it either Officer Oswald or Joe? You know, just get it straight over here. 
Okay, nice to meet you all. Now you can tell me what's happening. This isn't right. How did I get here? Or number three, I don't understand what the hell's going on. I'm gonna play like, uh, I would. I don't understand what the hell's going on. Do you remember the plane crash? Uh, yeah, I do. I'm sorry. There were only a few survivors between the wreckage and the, well, it was amazing that we were able to find anyone alive out there. No, this can't be happening. I have to get out of here. I have to find them. I can still see many of their faces. Could someone please tell me what the hell's going on here? I think number four is probably the option we want to go with here. You're in Texas, Central Texas, a town called Splendid. We're in the basement of the local school. Texas? Ah, shit. This isn't where I belong. I can't stay here. I lived in Texas my whole life and I've never heard of Splendid. I guess I'm home, kind of. I'm sure, whatever. I guess, um, you've never heard of Splendid. Neither have I. Heard of Splenda, but I think it's different from Splendid. Welcome home, I guess. You should know. You're pretty much stuck here. We all are. But don't worry. We have food, facilities, a generator, and it's secure. I, I'm gonna call bullshit on that. You know why? Because I heard you guys fighting about a hole in the fence. That doesn't sound too secure to me, Davis. Secure? What does that mean? I don't think you understand. Outside, it's not safe anymore. Everything's changed. You were on the last flight before they grounded the planes. They were trying to control the spread of, pa of a pandemic. It didn't work. Martial law was declared. Shelters were open. People were evacuated. Those that stayed behind... Like me and the whole Splendid Police Department, all three of us. We were just trying to get to the last few people out of the area when your plane went down. Most of them were already... You see the real danger out there right now is... There are things out there. Now's not the time. I agree. Look, this is a lot to take in. Why don't you come talk to me when you're ready? Take your time. Alrighty. When I'm ready. Well, I'm ready now. Why don't you just fucking talk to me now? Why do you have to, like, pander me and act to me like I'm a child or something? Just talk to me straight, bro. I'll let Davis talk to you about what's happening. Okay. None of these guys will talk to me. I gotta talk to Davis, the man in charge. He's basically Professor X in the Age of Apocalypse. <laughs> or is it... No, it's first class, right? Or is it the Age of Apocalypse? I don't know. Whenever he went crippled and he still had hair as opposed to just being completely bald. Is that insensitive of me to say? I'm sorry if it is. Think you're up to talking about a situation now? Yeah, man. That's why I'm talking to you. Good, I'll get the others. Yeah, they're all there. You're not gonna get anybody. <laughs> you motherfucker, they're all just there around me. Acting like I'm some sort of, like, you know, attraction at a zoo. What I'm about to tell you, it's going to be difficult to believe. In fact, it's hard to accept that when you've seen it with your own eyes. I'll say. Uh, let's see, let me go with number one. I don't know if anything can shock me anymore. Let me explain. The onus that was going around, it doesn't just kill or make people lose their mind. It might not even be a virus. It's the end of the world. And I feel fine. Whatever. Mom, we don't know that. Please, just tell me. The dead are coming back to life. Not all of them, but people are a bit... People are bit or killed by them. They seek out and attack the living. From what we know, it's not just here, it's everywhere. All over the world. Come on, this is some sort of reality TV stunt. Come on, who would say that? I'm done here. Fuck this. Give me the key, I'm out of here. I see. I mean, it's difficult to believe? Okay, what are our options? Let me go with number three here. We don't know how long we've been going to be here for, and the basement isn't really a long-term solution. We've got enough food to last us another week or so, but we're going to need to secure the entire school. Alright, what do we need to make that happen, Davis? The fence around the school was being refinished when the town was evacuated. There's a whole section missing, which... I've seen what's out there. We're not safe. If those things find out we're inside... If we want to move into the school upstairs, we're going to have to finish that fence. It's not completely down. With the proper supplies, we could fix it in a day. Can't get very far, we drain the fuel in the cars to power the generator. There's a hardware store over in Lano. It's a bit of a walk, but it's our best bet. You're going to want to bring back a toolbox and as many spare parts as you can. Getting that fence up is our only option. I know this is a lot to ask, especially given all you've been through, but we really don't have a choice. Alright, I can do that, bro. I've been here before. It's like deja vu. Um, you know, I feel a bit better about this that we had a third person. I still remember the last time we went outside of Splendid. We're going to need someone to stay here and help me secure the windows and doors upstairs, but I can't volunteer anyone else. Don't even think about taking my Renee. There's no way I'm letting my little girl go out there. Mom, please, I can take care of myself. And what if someone gets hurt? I'm the, it's the, I'm the only one here with any medical training. Take me if you want to. I don't want to have to fight. But you don't have to... But you don't drive a big rig for 10 years without learning how to bust some heads. Oh, no, you don't, Mom. If anything happened to you... Alrighty, look, Anita, I like your resilience and everything, but I need a medic out there, so I am going to be taking your daughter, as a matter of fact. That's not the only thing I'll take. <laughs> what, what, that's actually kind of creepy. Never mind, forget I just said that. If anything happens to her, I'm holding you personally, remember? Responsible. Understand? I do. 
Okay, it's decided. You three go to the hardware store in Lano and get a toolbox and all the parts you can carry. We'll secure the school's first floor while you're gone. Understood, let's go. Alright, looks like you're heading outside. You don't want to do this unprepared. You don't have the bat you picked up back at the crash site anymore. So you'll have to equip yourself again. Left click on the survivor's bag nearby and loot the contents. Alright. So we are going to need a weapon here. Survivor's bag, right about here. Oh, that's quite a bit of a haul right there. Sweet. Alright, so I'm going to grab all of this here. While you're stocking up on supplies, here are some key things to keep in mind about looting. Pay attention to the weight list and the looting character. That's the amount of weight they're already carrying. Each character has a maximum amount of weight they're able to carry, and once they're at their maximum, they won't be able to add any more. On the bottom of the looting character's clipboard are tags to separate their inventory by items. Weapons used to attack, ammo used in weapons. Oh, come on, game. I know how this shit works, alright? Once you've gotten everything you need, remember to equip yourself properly and close the loot screen and open up your inventory. Alrighty, cool. Thanks. I've never played a game before in my life. So let me go over here and we're going to equip ourselves with a wrench here. I prefer the wrench over the knife. I could take this as a backup weapon, but the wrench will do us just fine early on. And let me also grab this um, medical bag. We're going to put the, I guess, bandages in there as well so we can kind of heal ourselves on the go. And then all this here should just be part of the stock for the school itself. So we don't need to take any of this with us, but we're going to need a few more parts to patch up that hole in the fence, obviously. And that's about it. That's all we can do down here if I remember correctly. There's a dude over here that's passed out. He won't wake up for quite a while. But he will join our party if we get the proper medical supplies to get him up and running. Let's see, nothing happening over here. Just want to make sure we're not missing any items. Again, this is the full release now, so there could be some new stuff over here. I like how I could open that door from, like, you know, across the fucking room. <laughs> Apparently that crash landing got me some psychic powers as well. Door open. Basement shelf. We just picked that clean. We got a hammer out of that. I don't really like to hammer too much. Renee usually starts off with the hammer, and that's fine for her, but... From a heavy hitter, Black Eisenberg, we don't really need that. This man is alive, but unconscious. Yeah, yeah. That he is. I don't think you want to keep a dead person down here, considering, you know, he might come back to life and bite us. It is the first floor of the shelter, otherwise known as Splendid General School. You've got some items on you that are best left here before you go. Yeah, I know. Exactly what I said downstairs, game. Alright? Let's go to the shelter storage over here, and we're gonna... Yeah, I know. I know this works, right? Basically, you wanna just grab what you're gonna take with you on the mission itself, maybe uh, an item. Uh, in terms of a weapon, ammunition, armor, medical items like that. And maybe even items to kind of calm your nervousness, and in case people panic in a mission, you could have certain items that could, you know, do that for you. But for the most part, you wanna dump off every, every extra stuff you have here. So let's go into stock. We're gonna select all over here, and then just kind of stock it up to this side and since we already have a weapon and there's none of this we really do need so we're gonna hit stock over here all the extra items that are used around the base are gonna be basically put into its own little stock inventory that kind of disappears for the rest of the time and it'll be in your overall item inventory for the base but you won't see it here in your shelter store where you could kind of store your extra equipment extra ammunition etc etc Alrighty, now that you've dropped some of the items off, it's a good idea to check out your goals. Hit G to open up the goal list. Alrighty, I'll hit G, alright. This will tell you about the goals over here, things you need to do. Uh, right now we're looking to, we need to collect at least 50 antibiotics. We also need to collect a lot of food. We're only at 13 right now, few collected, we only have 10 of 25 that is our goal. Luxury items collected, we have 200 and we need to kind of reach for, we have 3. And then parts collected, we have 2, and we're looking for 100. So that's good to know. Exit out of here. Before you leave, try walking around the shelter and speaking with people. Individuals have their own particular locations they like to hang out in, and it's important to talk with them frequently to find out what their wants and needs are. And this will kind of work out in terms of, like, you know, people in this game will have, you know, bad moods, things like that. Depending on damage that you take over time, people that die, it will affect your morale. So some of them require certain items. Like some people will be like, oh, I could really use a cigarette. I could really use some booze. I could really use, you know, heroin. Maybe we'll get a drug addict. You don't know. And then I could be like, you know what? Well, Malter White, I could probably cook some meth rather easily. So, maybe it's not heroin, but it'll be like another drug of choice for you. But, you know, that's besides the point. Alrighty. And the last thing we need to do right now is actually talk to Davis. He'll give us a rundown about going over to Lano to get some parts for the fence. But you know what? Because I think we've done enough here for today, I just wanted to get the introduction out. I'm going to wait again for the first day patch that's expected to come out tomorrow on Friday. I'll patch up the game, get all the bugs that are still roaming around out of the way, and we'll continue going forward from there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the first episode. 
Kind of a quick one, I know. I just wanted to show off the introduction, and then next episode on, where we're going to dive right into it. Um, if you guys haven't, or you're a new viewer, I have a beta Let's Play of Dead State if you want to hold yourself until then. Check it out, it's actually kind of fun. We had pretty, we had some pretty good times with that, at least I did personally playing it. I did a lot of voice acting for the characters as well. I'm not sure if I'll do that for this run, but we'll see. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I encourage you to leave a thumbs up, leave a like. The support does mean a lot. And other than that, I will catch you. Episode number two.